All right, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'll let uh, ask media to sign up in the uh, line up in the chat, and then we'll open them with a statement, and then we'll we'll go to questions. So, tell us about it, Coach. Well, it was uh, you anytime you come to Madison, uh, you're you're ecstatic to to come out with a win to do a back to back years. Uh, I'm excited. This was uh, a game that I was I was uh, ecstatic about our defense. Uh, the first half, we were absolutely terrific. I was very happy with it until the last uh, two minutes and 20 seconds, to be honest. And uh, I think we had held them to four threes at that point. And, and obviously, Dimitri Trice, a, a terrific player. He's a young man with a lot of charisma. And and um, you know he, he got going. And uh, he's hard to guard. And, and uh, um, but, um, you know, for us to go up, go through what we've been through this week um, and to withstand it, uh, it's all on me, the end against the press. Uh, we haven't had much practice time. Um, Io DeSumo is most often our inbounder, our trigger guy. Uh, we put Curbelo in that situation, and that is all on me. We haven't, we haven't spent near enough time on that with him in that spot. He's usually a receiver uh, because he gets open so well. And... Uh, I'll take the hit for, for, for those turnovers and that, and obviously something that we'll clean up tomorrow in practice. But um, to go 10 for 10 down the stretch, free throw line, uh, DeMonte Williams, uh, big step back uh, jump shot uh, was, was, uh, was huge. But, um, you know, to go through what we've been through this week, uh, be on the road as much as we've been on the road, uh, the, the physicality of the Michigan State game, the emotions of senior night, and then to come in here to the Cole Center. Um, and, you know, to be honest, probably a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired. And, uh, but um, to find a way to gut it up, and I could not be prouder of this group of guys and their, their toughness and their ability to step up. And, and uh, uh, grit was a, a big part of it tonight. All right, we'll start with uh, Robert and then uh, Brett Barons, Scott Ritchie, Gavin Good. And uh, so go ahead, Robert. Coach, can you talk about the uh, technicals right at the end? Um, what the officials yeah. told you, anything you, you know about that? They didn't say a word, you know, so I, you know, it's, it's no big deal. I mean, it was something that we've got to, you know, we've got to address. I don't, I don't know what happened. So I'll look at it on film. And then in this game, um, you know, Wisconsin makes their last seven shots, all the threes from Trice, yet you make your last five shots and 10 for 10 free throws at the end. Uh, can you talk about what that does for, you know, the rebound of a team? Yeah, I mean, you know, good players. That's a veteran team. It's the oldest team in the country. They're mature. They're old. They're, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've been through every battle, every type of game. Trice has been a, uh, a lead guard in this on this team uh, for a long time. And, and, um, you know, that's a, that's a terrific player that, uh, you know, was doing everything he could to fight, to have his team go out the right way, made hard shots. And, uh, I mean, he had one over, over Jake that was, was about as well contested as you could, could have. And, um, you know, they, they all had a hand up except the first one. And, uh, but, uh, and then for us to go 10 for 10 at the foul line, uh, we executed great out of a timeout, you know, got Kofi, the, the, the dunk, uh, you know, Carmelo answered with a, with a quick steal on a, after his turnover. Um, you know, again, it was just guys making plays. Was it pretty? It wasn't pretty on either end, but guess what? When you're on the road and you're at the end of February, who gives a dang? Thanks. Okay, Brett Barron, Scott Ritchie on deck. Go ahead, Brett. Rob, what does it say about your team that you're able to win a game not only at home but on the road now without Io? Well, I think it, I think it shows we've got really good players who have a lot of charisma, who have a lot of ability, um, that have stepped up in adverse situations, and um, to be very honest, I I couldn't be prouder. I mean, they're gritty, they're tough, um, and um, you know it's it, it's just another. Uh, uh, step in what I, I hope is our culture and to do it without IO, the best player in college basketball, uh, and have guys step into new roles. Uh, you saw the little hiccup tonight. And again, that was, I mentioned with Bellow on the out of bounds plays, but man, I mean, come on. I mean, uh, the job he and Adam are doing and, and, um, you know, everybody tonight, I'm, 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 I'm just 
I'm just proud as anybody could be. Do you feel like you started a game better than that and, and holding them to one for 15? How did that set the tone for the rest of the game? Well, it was huge. I mean, uh, you know, Chen Coleman and, and, and O do a great job on the defensive side in, in terms of the scouting piece, and Jet does a great job on the offensive side. I thought there was good balance. But, uh, you know, and, and again, um, you know, I, I loved our defense. I loved our game plan. I loved our defense. And, and guys have to go out and execute that. But we took away their easy stuff. Uh, we gave them two threes in transition, which, um, you know, I think they had four threes in, for the game going in the last two minutes. And, um, you know, obviously, Trice goes six for six and in an unusual set of circumstances. But in their actions, we guarded the heck out of them and, and uh, uh, very pleased with that. Thanks. Okay, Scott Ritchie, Gavin Good, and then Steve, uh, you'll, you'll follow that. Go ahead, Scott. Brett, sort of made a follow-up to that. He talked with you yesterday, and he said, I can't turn it over 18 times against Wisconsin and went on the road and the turnovers 20-something and, and do just – did the, that defensive effort have to be there with you know, the, that inconsistency a bit you know, in the first half offensively? Yeah, I mean, and they just took our ball. I mean, that was, that was you know, give them credit. They had a week to prepare. They did a great job of jumping out really hard and, and, and switching. Um, and, you know, then three or four of those come late against the press. But, um, again, I, you know, uh, you got to find a way. And, and we'll clean those up. And, uh you know, I think that's a little bit of the, the challenge with I.O. out. Uh, but, um, you know, we've got a uh, – Carmelo can't – you know, I put him in a bad spot. He had six tonight. Uh, you know, for, for as much as he handles the ball, he would have had three and had an unbelievable game had I not put him in that spot on the out-of-bounds. And then, you know, how much of a difference does DeMonte make when he attacks the basket like he did, either he finishes or he had you know, that really you know, good pass to Kofi there in the first half? Yeah, they, we're, we're seeing DeMonte, we see him practice. And, um, you know, he, we're seeing his, his whole bag of tricks. And, um, you know, he, he, again, he, he's, a, he's a huge part of this team. And uh, his activity today was, was, was perfect. And, and, and his, his energy was great. And not just what he did on the offensive side, but on the glass and defensively as well. Okay, we'll go with Gavin Good and then Steve McGargy. Go ahead, uh, Gavin. Hey, Brad, kind of following that, it seemed like Adam Miller had a, a kind of DeMonte-like game today where he's patient at the offensive end and really contributed in a variety of ways. Um, how would you evaluate his performance? It was great, and he had a really hard matchup. You know, we know Brad Davison is a, is a strong, uh, you know, physical, very smart player. I've uh, been around, it seems like, forever, and, and – uh, uh, you know, to put a freshman on him. That, that's that what we were asking a lot. We knew Brad would be aggressive. Um, and, you know, he picked up his first foul and I was trying to protect him a little bit in the first half. I didn't want him to, I knew we would need him down the stretch. I didn't want him to get into uh, serious foul problems guarding him. Uh, so I, I was able to protect him a little bit in the first half. And then, uh, you know, he was great uh, in the second half. And as a, we're starting to see uh, a young man bloom and, and blossom into a, a into a really good college uh, basketball player. Absolutely. Um, and then I'm wondering, um, it's obviously been so tough to win here historically. Were you kind of warning the guys that Wisconsin was going to put together a run before this thing was over? It was senior night. I mean, it, I mean, we knew what we knew what those emotions were, and that's all we had to mention. And uh, um, yet, um, you know, this got this team's finding a way. They're they're tough minded and. And they're finding a way, and it's not always pretty. And um, you know, this place has uh, uh, been magical uh, for 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 Wisconsin. It's one of the elite programs in college basketball. And uh, coming here back to back years, and coming here without I.O. Uh, man, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a proud head coach right now. Okay, Steve McGargy, and then uh, Derek Piper on deck. Go ahead, Steve. Just in that regard, y'all had held him to like just a few three pointers all day long. What's going through your mind when you see Demetri Trice kind of heat up those last that last minute or so? What's going through your mind when you when what one individual player starts getting the team single handedly back in it like that? Pretty simple. Just try to guard him, and you know you you you, you literally I've seen it many many times before, um, and 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 those guys. You know, have an, have an uncanny ability to make really hard shots when the game's on the line. And you, and you really just beg for one miss, and we didn't get it. And, uh, you know, one miss changes the whole 
complexion, the whole flow, the, the, the momentum. And uh, you give him a lot of credit and, and, you know, I'll have to go back and look at the film, see if there was anything really I wanted to, I wanted to do otherwise, but uh, you know, he had one over one or two over Kofi and uh, you know, we, we cross matched a little bit. So, you know, you just, you just uh, got to make sure that you do your job at your end. And we did with our last five field goals and our last 10 free throws and a lot of prayer. Yeah. All right, Derek, Derek Piper, you're up. And then uh, Jeremy Werner, go ahead, Derek. Hey, Coach, I know we talked a lot about DeMonte shooting, but just to go back to last year, there were nine straight Big Ten games, didn't even score a point, and now he's one of the most, not the most efficient shooter in the country. Just what do you make of that, and have you seen anything like that before? No, I haven't. Um, you know, I think there's there, there's a ton of confidence. Um, you know, I think there's a ton of, uh, you know, his willingness to step up and not be afraid to step up and, and, and know that this team uh, needs him. Um, but, uh, you know, it, we, we've seen all that in practice. And, and Derek, it was just, you know, exuding uh, him to get it out and, and to do that and not, you know, not feel um, anything but confidence. And I, we, did, we, we didn't have that early. He needed so many other things right. And uh, now he's just, um, you know, he's playing, he, he's playing terrific. He's playing as, as, as an all big 10 DI right now. We've heard you say a lot, bring it on in terms of the challenges of the schedule or just the circumstances here down the stretch. What did you see from the team? Uh, clearly they've embraced that as well. Uh, being able to show up today and do it without IO and, and just within three games in five days. It's a life lesson, Derek. I mean, life doesn't always, you know, give you, uh, give you lemonade, you know, sometimes it gives you lemons and, and, and what, what, what you make of them is, is, uh, is up to you. And, um, you know, this team has resilience, this team has grit, this team has fight. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not our fault that, like I said, many times we've been perfect through COVID since August and it's not our fault that the games got canceled or road games, but, we're going to, we're going to honor those, those um, uh, because we're a member of this league and we're going to honor those games and we're not going to be the teams that pick and choose what we play for, for, for whatever we're going to show up. And, and uh, this team, uh, I think it's about character and this team has a ton of it. Thanks coach. Hey Derek, uh, we'll go back to Jeremy Werner and then Matt Stevens. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey Brad, um, just for your program, um, what is this two wins without your league guy, you know, maybe whether it's life after him or, you know, when he comes back, what's this say about your team and program? Well, I, I, I hope it means we're, we're arriving. I think it's a tribute to our staff, uh, how hard they work to recruit, how hard they work to develop guys. I think it's, it speaks volumes to um, the, uh, uh, the players and their willingness and their abilities. Um, and, and I think then we, we look at uh, uh, overall, we look at our culture and, and understand that you, know, you can have a lot of good players, but if you don't have the right culture, uh, you're not going to win. And, 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 you know, it's man down and you've got to step up. And, uh, you know, as, as good as Io is, and he's the best player in college basketball, I believe that nobody does more for their team than he does. And, and for us to step up into that, man, that, 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 that's a great feeling. And baseline out of bounds plays have worked really well for you guys. Who's, whose responsibility is that? Why you guys been so successful at it? We, pra we probably practiced them more. We've got veterans. Um, you know, it's something that we, we, you know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, we've had the, the baseline line when the full court went in, you know, I've had that one in the bag. Uh, we put the step out uh, play in. Uh, a couple of those were things we ran at Oklahoma State and, and, and SFA. And we just change it, stuff that find, fits our personality. It's one of the things I think you can be really creative with because you got 94 feet. And um, so, you know, we, Gentry and I and Jeff uh, all, all talk and haggle over those things. And those guys do a great job and, and they're very creative. And it's fun to, uh, to, to, to try to execute those and see them work. Thanks, Brad. Okay, we'll go uh, Matt Stevens and then um, uh, Joey Wagner. Go ahead, Matt. 
Brad, you, you've talked about scouting report errors early in the year, but with so little preparation time during this stretch, are, are you impressed with the guys being able to, you know, be able to process a scouting report and play the kind of defense that, you, that you've seen from them, at least in these last couple of games with less than 30 hours to prepare? For the most part, yes, very. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 um, the, we've, we've had more lengthy film sessions. It's probably been much more mental uh, scout than the physical part. I still like the physical. I like the guys to feel that, you know, certain action and to actually see it. Uh, but, um, you know, that's where the growth has been for, for Curbelo and for, for, for Adam and, and Coleman is, is uh, understanding the importance of all those things. And defensively, it was a very underlying thing for you to, to watch Kofi, you know, go out and cover the three ball like he did. I think, you know, there wasn't Reavers or Potter really didn't get going like they wanted him to. And I think you were right. They were four of 25 from three tonight, like at one point. So it really seemed like your bigs really got out there and, and got a hand in the face. Yeah. And that's, that's, and, and the, the, the back end of that is the rebounding job that our guards did. You know, I'm, I'm proud of our guards because when you draw Kofi away from that rim like that, uh, somebody's got to go go rebound the basketball. And, and, and other than the first half on three, I think three occasions, we ran in and the ball bounced over us. And, you know, we have a saying, long shots equal long rebounds. And um, But, uh, you know, we knew that's what they wanted to do. Over 40% of their, their field goal attempts come from three. And uh, Potter's been great of late uh, shooting the basketball. They shoot 40% at home. Uh, so why not shoot threes? I would too if I shot that uh, percentage. So, you know, they're um, I, I'm, I'm proud of this guy, this group of guys, because they handled that from a scout perspective. Okay, and then uh, Joey Wagner, go ahead, Joey. Hey, Brad. Given the circumstances, the schedule, I/O, I think you guys may have even clinched a double buy in the Big Ten tournament, or are very, very close to doing so and being on the road, where does this one rank this year for you in terms of getting it done? I'm really proud of the last two. I, I mean, this, this one's on the road. Um, you know, I don't even, what day is it? It's Saturday, Saturday, Thursday. Thursday was a hard, hard day. And uh, man, I couldn't wait to get to bed that night. I was exhausted. And even even though it was a home game, but you throw it, you throw in this week, you throw in the Tuesday night, the physicality, the emotion of that game, we lost. Fly home, deal with all of everything that went on with Io and, and the unknowns and all of the, the, that situation. And then you get ready for a senior day. And, and I told you guys, I don't like senior days because of the emotion that it causes and stirs in me and, and your team. And all the while you're trying to prepare. And then now it's, you know, you're without IO, you know, you're without IO and you're going on the road to a place that, against a, a great team, a top 25 team. It's been an emotional week and it's been a hard week. And so these two games, I'm not going to lie. They're, they're right up there uh, in terms of being, being so excited and so proud of what we're, 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 we're building and what we're, um, what we're, we're elevating our program too. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. And for your guys to respond to that challenge and to, to harness those emotions in the way that they have, what's that say about, I mean, probably led with the seniors, but the, everyone down all the way, what's that say about them? Well, you, you guys probably know them better than every, anybody else out there. And we got unbelievable guys. I mean, these are unbelievable character guys. I mean, we got great personality. We laugh. We have fun. I mean, it's the end of February. We're in the middle of the grind. And our shoot around, we got up at, we got up at Tyndall 6 this morning. And so we could go test. We had our shoot around. We got the blood flowing and moving. And I mean, our, it was laughter. It was fun. And here we are at the end of February. And, and that, that's so much fun as a coach to see our guys enjoying that moment. And uh, um we got good people, man. We got great human beings. Thank you. Bro. Okay, well, we'll wrap up today with uh, Harry. Go ahead, Harry Fiegel. Hey, coach, you kind of touched on it a little bit with your last answer, but you've mentioned in the past just being able to soak it all in and kind of and kind of look at the bigger picture of the season and how it's going. Do you think that everything that's gone on in the past few days and all the emotion and all the all the stuff that you guys have been dealing with, do you think that makes it a little bit harder 
to kind of set, soak it all in and step back? And do you think maybe that now is a more important time than ever to have the team be able to put it in perspective and look back and, and, and see where you guys have come from? Put on the accelerator, push that son of a gun through the floorboard. That's our mentality. We'll deal with all that other thinking about it stuff later. We're in, I guess it's going to be March now. We're in March. And so it is, it is full speed ahead. And we'll deal with all the, the emotional stuff uh, whenever, that, whenever that time is, is right and look back on it. But I'm proud as heck. And it hasn't been easy. And it has been a challenging week. But we don't have time to reflect now. Thank you, Coach. All right, Coach. We'll stick uh, the accelerator to the floor on the bus to the airport. And uh, we'll see you next week. Have a Thank safe you. Day.